starting a new assignment in computer art and what we're going to do is take a city image and transform it into a devastated city of destruction. So um, essentially we're going to use a lot of different um, photo editing tools that we've already used so far um, and a couple new ones. Um, so first thing we're going to need to do is choose a place or a city. Um, I've already got a couple in mind. I looked for, uh, I searched New York City for some New York City images, um, but before that actually we should start a new document for our project. So here's my previous example. We'll start a new one, go file new, and create a document that is 10 inches by 8 inches, oops I already have inches selected there, by 8 inches and resolution of 150. And so we will say OK. Now what we're going to do is we'll find an image that's going to fill or stretch to fill this. We're going to need to find a high resolution image. Um, so what we want to make sure we do, if you see an image this small, you know, you probably don't want to copy it, but if you go click on view image, you'll see this is a much larger image. So if you're looking for images um, and you're doing a Google search, sometimes just clicking on Google image, uh, view image will really visit the actual page, get the actual image. Um, so this is a pretty good image to go through. Um, there's a lot going on here. But I think that this will work um, as a pretty decent example. Um, my other example was a little more on the simplistic side, and I think that you, you can go either way. Um, but I'm going to basically just take that image, paste it in here. What we'll see is this is going to be really big right now, and so I'm going to have to hold the Shift key and click and drag from the corners to pull this down and then click and drag it up in here um, to make it fit. So just clicking and dragging. Now you'll see it doesn't quite fit into my space here. It's okay that it goes off the edges a little bit um, as long as I feel good about what section of it that I'm going to be working on. And so this looks like it should fit pretty good. It gives me a few buildings to, uh, to destruct. All right, so um, first thing we want to do, and actually it's really probably best that you get a, a background or an image that has a very simple one color type of sky, no clouds. It's going to make it a lot easier to remove that background and put in a new one um, by using your magic wand tool. And if you don't see your magic wand tool, it might be behind your quick selection tool. Click and hold down on that feature to get the magic wand. And what I'll do is select this photo layer, click around in the sky, if I click the Add To option, anytime I click with the wand, it'll add to the selection I already had. So I'm just kind of clicking through here, trying to add all this. I see that I got a little bit of the side of that building, but I'll show you how to, um, how to adjust that and take that back. Okay, looks like I pretty much have all the sky selected. <clears throat> so I'm going to zoom in here, and I want to actually remove some things from my selection. So I'm going to use my Polygonal Lasso tool, and I'm going to go to Remove from Selection. And that way I can kind of click and make the outline of this building get removed from my selection. Now it's really tough to see where I started exactly there. I want to say it was down here somewhere, but if I just kind of scan along, there we go. See that little circle? And that means I got it. So now that is not part of my selection. And when I go to press the delete key, it will not delete it. So that worked pretty good. Um, so now I can see um, where I can insert my own um, clouds, storm clouds. Okay, so that's the second image we're going to need to do a search for. So if I go back to Google Chrome, I've already started a search for storm clouds. Um, and so there's tons to pick through here. This actually so happens to be um, above New York City, I think, as well, uh, which is interesting. Just ha so happened to stumble across it. Just searching for storm clouds. Um, again, I'll copy that image, go back to Photoshop, and then I will press Command V or I can go to Edit, Paste, and that will paste into this image of clouds on its own layer. Now we're going to want this behind or underneath this city layer and uh, go ahead and take your transform tools and stretch this to fill it. It looks a little pixelated right now, but it should render them better once I hit the enter key and that kind of gets them more in place. I'm um, sure as well. So uh, what I'm noticing too is it looks like I have a slight line that I did not delete from the other image. So I'm going to go ahead and take my eraser tool 
and go to this first, uh, our city image, and yeah, you can see there was a little line of the blue sky that got left behind. All right, great, so now we've got the storm clouds coming in, we've got the city uh, that we've changed kind of the background up, and what I'm gonna go into now is taking away or making some subtractions from some of these buildings. So using my lasso tool, I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn off the clouds for right now. It's a little distracting, a little too much going on. And I'm going to start to take make some takeaways from some of these buildings. So if I zoom in here a little bit, take my lasso tool and kind of make a jagged type of line edge along here and then press delete. I got one removal space from this building. Um, now I can press Command D to uh, unselect that area. And we want to make at least like five or six of those type of areas. So I'm going to take this building again, a little bit of a kind of cutaway there, and press delete. All right, and Command D will deselect that area. All right, so a couple more. I'm gonna go along the edge of this building here and try and match these angles. Doesn't have to be exact, because remember, we're creating destruction here. Um, and so if some of these lines don't match up quite right to the edges of the buildings, might just make a more realistic appearance. Again, another jagged kind of selection here, going along the edge and hitting delete. Okay, so how many of that? We got four, maybe I'll put one more on this side. Maybe this building here just to balance things out a little bit. All right, oops, it did not make that selection for some reason. Ah, because I still have this one selected, so make sure you Command D to deselect, and then I can make a new selection here, and then hit Delete to take out that. Command D one more time. All right, so now what we're looking at is city that's got some holes. We can actually see this cloud uh, image come through some of these holes, which is a bit of a, a good segue into what we're going to get into the second part of this video, which is actually adding some patchwork behind these holes um, to create these buildings that look like they are falling apart. And that's what we'll get into in the part two uh, part of this lesson.